Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body and participates in over 300 enzyme systems. It affects muscles, nerve function, glucose control, blood pressure, and much more. And recently is getting a lot of attention due to its wide variety of uses in medicine. But what are the best sources of magnesium? And how can you ensure you're getting enough of it in your diet? In today's video, I'm gonna reveal the top seven magnesium rich foods and how to ensure you're getting enough of it in your diet. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch the new video. If you need an online appointment or quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. Close to 99% of the body's magnesium is stored in bones, muscles, and soft tissues, and only about 1% is concentrated in your blood. Having low levels of magnesium has been associated with many health conditions and diseases, including, for example, Alzheimer's disease, hypertension, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, migraines, and even attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And despite the wide bioavailability of magnesium, the World Health Organization says that less than 60% of adults are not meeting the adequate intakes of values for magnesium. This is why it's important to ensure that you're eating plenty of magnesium-rich foods and getting enough magnesium to maintain optimal health. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal the top seven magnesium-rich foods and how to ensure you're getting enough of it in your diet. Number one, spinach. Leafy green vegetables in general are extremely healthy to consume. They contain antioxidants, phytonutrients, and many of them are loaded with magnesium. Best leafy green vegetables you can consume are those who contain large amounts of magnesium, and these include, for example, kale, collard greens, mustard greens, and especially spinach. Only one cup of cooked spinach has close to 160 milligrams of magnesium. This is about 40% of your daily recommended intake. A good rule of thumb is to think about this, a very simple comparison. Everything that is red and contains lots of blood, meaning meats, etc., contains high amounts of iron. And everything that's green normally contains lots of magnesium. So vegetables are an excellent source of several nutrients, including potassium, manganese, iron, and vitamins A, C, and K, and also, obviously, magnesium. Let's not also forget that leafy green vegetables contain many beneficial plant compounds that can help protect your cells from damage and reduce the risk of even cancer. Number two, seeds. Many of the seeds I'm gonna mention are readily accessible and very healthy to consume. As a matter of fact, many of the seeds found in vegetables have been found and discovered to have potential health benefits. Some of the best seeds with high magnesium content include, for example, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds. All three of these seeds have excellent health benefits and I have entire videos on the subject if you want to check them right after this video. The best sources of magnesium of these three are pumpkin seeds. Just one ounce of pumpkin seeds contain 37% of the daily recommended intake. Pumpkin seeds are also very high in monosaturated fats, fats like omega-3 fatty acids, and are extremely high in fiber. They're also filled with antioxidants. They help protect your cells against harmful free radicals produced during metabolism, etc. And another seed in this group, flax seeds, these have also been shown to reduce cholesterol and have strong benefits against breast cancer, for example. I mean, what more can you ask for? Number three, dark chocolate. A lot of people surprise themselves when I say or mention chocolate, but yes, dark chocolate is an excellent source of magnesium. This food is very high and rich in magnesium, containing about 64 milligrams in every ounce. That's 16% of the recommended daily intake. Dark chocolate has many more health benefits, more than you might think. It's especially beneficial for heart health because it contains flavonols, which are powerful antioxidants that prevent bad cholesterol from oxidizing and sticking to the cell linings of your arteries. Antioxidants are nutrients that neutralize free radicals. Those are harmful molecules that damage your cells and lead to disease or premature aging. So if you want to stay young, keep free radicals at a minimum by consuming antioxidants. This delicious food, which is chocolate, is also high in manganese, copper, iron, 
All of them very important for blood formation and overall health. I want to make a video about dark chocolate and its health benefits in the future. So if you'd like that, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and I was forgetting, dark chocolate contains prebiotic fiber. This is a fiber that feeds healthy intestinal bacteria and promotes good digestion and immunity. The best dark chocolate you can choose is that that contains at least 70% cocoa, but obviously a higher percentage is even better. Number four, nuts. When was the last time you ate nuts? Almonds, walnuts, etc. Nuts are incredibly nutritious and tasty. They can be used for a lot more than just a magnesium source. The nuts that are especially high in magnesium include, for example, almonds, cashews, and Brazilian nuts. These three are incredible. A single ounce of cashews, for example, contains 82 milligrams of magnesium. That's 20% of your recommended daily intake. Brazilian nuts are also extremely high in selenium, for example. Listen to this, only two of those Brazilian nuts provide 100% of your daily intake in selenium. Other nuts are great anti-cancer fighting foods. Their essential oil is many times excellent for regrowing your hair and much more. Most nuts are also of a very good source in fiber and monosaturated fats. And many of these have shown to improve blood sugar control and cholesterol levels in people with diabetes. This is why you're gonna hear me recommend to eat a daily handful of nuts. You can't go wrong with that. Number five, fatty fish. A lot of attention has been given to fatty fish lately, especially because this type of fish has been found to be incredibly nutritious. One of the nutrients found in fatty fish is magnesium. You can find magnesium in fish including salmon and mackerel. 178 grams of salmon, which is half a filet, contains 53 milligrams of magnesium, close to 13% of your recommended daily intake. Not only that, but fatty fish has also been found to be incredibly healthy. A high intake of fatty fish has been linked to decreased risk in several chronic diseases, particularly heart disease. This is why you're gonna hear your doctor say that fish oil consumption, which is actually omega-3 fatty acids, helps control both cholesterol and heart conditions. All these benefits have been attributed to the omega-3 fatty acids I just mentioned. And if this were not enough already, half a salmon filet provides an impressive 39 grams of high quality protein. It also has potassium, selenium, B vitamins, and many other nutrients. Number six, avocados. By the way, avocados are fruits. These are incredibly nutritious and an excellent source of magnesium. Half an avocado can give you 58 milligrams of magnesium, and which is close to 15% of your recommended daily intake. Apart from being an excellent source of magnesium, avocados are very high in potassium, vitamin K, which is used in the body for coagulation, and vitamin B for nerve function and metabolism. But the most important characteristic in avocados is that they're especially high in fat, which is good heart healthy fat, monosaturated fat obviously, that are very important in overall health. Studies have shown that eating avocados can increase the, the, you know, the feelings of fullness after your meals, improve cholesterol levels, and reduce inflammation. Number seven, legumes. Legumes are another very important group of foods that contain magnesium. And these include beans, peas, lentils, soybeans. Let's take black beans, for example. One cup of cooked black beans contains an impressive 120 milligrams of magnesium, which is 30% of your daily recommended intake. Apart from magnesium, legumes are also very high in potassium, iron, proteins, especially helpful in people or vegetarians who consume legumes as a replacement for meat. Another very important characteristic about legumes is that they're very rich in fiber and have a low glycemic index. This might help explain why they can lower your cholesterol levels, improve blood sugar control, and decrease heart disease in most people. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or an online appointment, visit drlandivar.com. Right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're gonna find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.